Welcome to 14.5, volume of a cone. So this is a cylinder, and the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared, which is the area of the base, times the height. So it says use 3.14, so I'm going to do that, times the radius here, which is 4, which I'm going to have to square, times 10. So 4 squared is... 4 squared is 16, and 16 times 10 is 160. So this is going to be 3.14 times 160 because I can multiply in any order because of the commutative property. So you get a row of zeros, and then 6 times 4 is 24, and then 6 plus 2 is 8, and 6 times 3 is 18. Then you step over twice, and you multiply 4, 1, and 3, and you add up all these rows, and you move the decimal twice. And I'm getting the volume is approximately 502.4 cubic inches. These little marks mean inches. Okay, now, what is that shape? That is a cone, as in an ice cream cone. To draw a cone, you draw an oval, okay? And then the key to the oval, then you're going to just pick a point, and you bring the two sides down to the point, and you've drawn a cone. We typically show the radius as a dash, little line and this will be the height right this will be the radius of the cone and this will be the height of the cone and what, what do you think how many of these do you think fit in there if they're exactly the same radius yeah it's not obvious but think about pyramids remember how many pyramids what fraction of a rectangular prism a pyramid was it's the same as here so a cone has a, only has the one base, right? It has one circle for the base, but the height is still straight up to the top, or in this case, the bottom, if it's in the normal orientation. So to find the area of the base of both of these, it would be the same thing. It says use the area of the base would be pi r squared, so we're going to do approximately 3.14 times 2 squared, which is 4. So both of these would, if you're finding the volume of both of these, they both start the same way. Find the area of the base, pi r squared. 4 times 4 is 16, 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5, 4 times 3 is 12, step over twice. Yeah, both of these have an area of 12.56 square centimeters for the area. So what do you find for this one? You just multiply by the height. Now, you can't do exactly the same thing for this one, but it has to have the height in it. So what's the formula, you think? How many? The key is how many of these do you think would fit in there? It's a whole number. And it's exact, right? Turns out three of them fit in there. A cone is one third, this one third as big as a cylinder with the same height and radius. Just like a pyramid was one third the size of a rectangular prism with the same length, width, and height. So let's see that. We're gonna find the volume of both these shapes, right? So we, we started at both of them, both of them, right because this one is one-third pi r squared h this one is pi r squared h and we just did 3.14 times 4 because it was 2 squared right and we got 4 5 12.56 and we now we have to multiply this one by 6 because the height is 6 right this one is one third times six. So we're gonna multiply 12.56. We're canceling that six and make it times two. And so this one's 12, 10, 11, four plus one is five, move the decimal twice. This one is 25.12 cubic centimeters. Now this cylinder should come out three times bigger because three of these will fit in there. So if that one's a little more than 25, right? The cylinder should be a little more than 75, right? You could literally take this number and multiply by 3 and get the answer. And it should have the same thing I'm about to get. 6 times 6 is 36. 6 times 5 is 30. Plus 3 is 33. 6 times 2 is 12. Plus 3 is 15. 6 times 1 is 6. Plus 1 is 7. Move the decimal twice. And this one, we get 75.36 cubic centimeters. Cylinders are three times as big as cones. Cones are one-third the size of a cylinder. So we're going to leave pi in our answer this time. So it's one-third pi r squared h. 
So it's one third pi. Radius here is five, which you have to square. Right, don't forget to square it, which is one third times pi times 25 times nine. We can cancel the three and the nine. 25 times three is 75. So it's 75 pi cubic centimeters for the volume. Find the volume closest to the exact answer. Okay, that means I want you to estimate. So this is one third, but I'm gonna use three for pi. Radius is not 12, 12 is all the way across. Radius is six, so we gotta square that, and the height is 10. We can cancel these threes right away, and this is 36 times 10. So it's around 360, and I should be approximating at this point, right? But which, which one is the closest, right? So if you use 3.14, you'll be closer to 376 cubic inches. So if you have three cones, right, it would be three times one third pi r squared h. It doesn't say what to do here, but as far as pi, so I'm gonna just leave it. But this three and this three cancel each other out. Three cones get you back to the size of a cylinder. That's the point of this screen, right? Three of those fit into one cylinder that looks like that. Now it doesn't look that way to the eye because you're showing these cones on a two-dimensional piece of paper. But in 3D, there's a lot of empty space around that cone. Now, could you cram three cones in that cylinder without breaking them up? No. But if you filled all three of these cones with ice cream, they would have the same amount of ice cream as that cylinder. Yes, they would. So I'm gonna leave pi in the answer and get it exactly. The radius here is four, four squared is 16. And then we have to do 16 times the height, which is eight. So 16 times eight, six times eight is 48. Eight plus four is 12. So the volume of all three of them is 128 pi cubic inches. The cone is always one third the size of a cylinder with the same radius and height. Write a formula for how much volume is left, right? So if you have a whole cylinder, pi r squared h, and you take away one third pi r squared h, what do you get? Well, think about it. If you have one whole, Right, if you have one X and you take away one third X, what's left? Well, think about it. This is 30 thirds X. What's left is two thirds. Right, if you take away a third, two thirds is left. So the formula, you don't have to memorize this or anything, but I'm just trying to show you the relationship. If the cone is one third the volume, the formula to find the rest is two thirds pi r squared H. Yeah, it is. That's the volume of the rest. All right, so one of the key things you should know out of this lesson is this cone, right, is small. It is very key that they put that big blob of ice cream on the top. A lot of your ice cream is up there in the blob because notice what happens at ice cream stores. When you pay for ice cream, they put it in a cone. When you pay for yogurt or ice cream by the, the gallon or half gallon or quart, they don't use a cone, do they? No, they use this. Like if you're at yogurt land, right? They want you to fill up that big, huge cylinder. They would never give you cones at yogurt land. Why not? Because cones are small. You won't spend very much money, but cylinders are big, right? Math actually affects your real life and businesses are using math to get more money out of customers. Yes, they are. All right, so find, find the volume of cone that would fit level with the top of the cone, right? There's no blob here. Now, a real cone, I made the math a little easy. A real cone is radius is a little more than an inch. It's like an inch and a quarter, but we're gonna just do it, all right? So its volume is approximately uh, 3.14 times the radius here, which is one squared times six. So, all right, it's 3.14. Now I could have used three or I could have made it exact. I just decided to do 3.14 since I hadn't done that in a little bit. And so it's approximately 18.84 cubic inches. 
And if you could do the volume of that blob, you would see that a lot of the ice cream is actually up there, not in the cone. So a solid cone is dropped into a cylinder with the same base and height. Find the volume of space outside the cone. Use 3 for pi. All right now, I've already told you this, right? If you have a cylinder, now if you forget, you can do the math. But that's what's going on here. We have a cylinder, pi r squared h. We're taking away the cone. And 1 minus 1 third is 2 thirds pi r squared h. So it says use 3 for pi, so I'm doing that. The radius is 4, so I'm squaring that, and the height is 10. These 3s cancel. 4 squared is 16. 2 times 16 is 32. And 32 times 10 is 320. So this is approximately 320 cubic centimeters outside the cone, but inside the cylinder. Okay. So finally, a volume closest to the answer. That means I want you to use 3 for pi. R is 5, and height is 20. These 3s cancel. We're doing 25 times 20. 25 times 2 is 50, right? So 25 times 20 must be 500. Well, which one is the closest but a little bit bigger? 525 cubic inches. What would you rather have? Three level ice cream cones or a tub of or the tub of ice cream shown, shown. Now, the truth is, it's the same, the key, why I'm asking is, it's the same amount of ice cream. So what is it? it, must come down to something else, right? It's the same amount of ice cream. But say you love the taste of these cones, then you want the cone. Say you hate the taste of the cones, then you want the cylinder, but they are the Say maybe, maybe you're walking and you want to have, although holding three cones would be hard. So, you know, but the key is it, it's an optical illusion that ice cream stores use that these cones look like they have more than this little tube, but in fact, they have the same exact volume. Good luck in the homework.